I mean, when I plan a trip, it's pretty simple. I pick a activity, and then I open up an atlas, and I'm like, uh, Norway, Patagonia, or Alaska, you know? That's how it goes. So the geography really inspires me. It's the, it's the beginning of everything for me. I came here to talk about what it means to me to be adventurous and sort of creative on demand. Uh, because now, when it becomes your job, you have to be interesting and be creative at the same time. Whenever I'm facing a new project, I try to dig in into my childhood. Um, because for me, um, if I'm doing this life, it's because I've always wanted to kind of be free. You know, it, there's always like a little bit or a lot of suffering when getting these images, but I feel like I can tell that, you know, it was hard to get them. And that's again my message is to always go a little bit beyond or way beyond everybody. In adventure photography, I feel like the fun really begins when things go wrong and when there's pain and when you're going further. So having all this research in the back of my head when that happens allows me to make a new plan and to get photos with that new plan. When I go somewhere and I find a place that's good, like, okay, I can shoot a photo from here, it's gonna be cool. I'd feel terrible if I did that, just shooting my photo there. I'm gonna try to look left and right and up and down to see where I can go that nobody else in their right mind would wanna go. Just so I can feel like this image I owned and I worked for, because if I don't work for an image, it's not an image that I feel good about. I wanted to leave you with this idea of just go beyond. You know, just try to push further than anybody else, um, just because it gives you more ownership. That's my final notes. <laughs>